Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Deloitte and welcome back to Animatica 2 Expert Mode. In the last episode, we, well, I can't get up there. Um, last episode, I built a uh, bit of a second floor, as you can see, um, with our newly acquired sawmill. And um, we set up a little bit of automation planning, at least, for... Uh, the inscribers and while this stuff isn't quite ready to be set up completely yet um, We need to get some filters and all that kind of fun stuff uh, But we'll be able to do some stuff with this uh, very soon and it's gonna be awesome. So yeah um, I Between episodes went mining for one uh, and went ahead and moved all this stuff up here and honestly now that I'm kind of thinking about it uh, it's gonna be dumb to have this stuff like really spread out so we're gonna we're gonna get it a little bit closer together uh, because well channels aren't that big of a deal right now uh, we have what one two uh, three four five six once we get the processor set up uh, and I went ahead and moved the power up here just so it's a little bit easier now obviously some of the stuff is very temporary um, it will be you know ender IO conduits later uh, and all that kind of fun stuff but for now it will work um, so what we're gonna do first of all is get an applied energistic system set up uh, and one of the big things I want to do is work towards getting um, the storage cells automated so currently the only thing we can automate is the blank patterns and that's it um, but if we can get the storage cells automated that would be really nice so um, this is getting power. We need to make some more glass cables. Uh, so that's what I had been working on. Uh, I went mining, uh, went and grabbed a bunch of loot. There's two uh, Farmcraft Hill things. Uh, so we have a whole bunch of stuff from that. Uh, nothing too special to talk about, but uh, definitely some interesting things. A garden scythe uh, could be fun. And some mana steel, stuff that I just really didn't bother to look at. Um, I went to the, the nether and grabbed a bunch of nether quartz, um, which I've processed a little bit of. And we got some new armor stuff. Um, currently wearing what I have, but might switch. I think I'm going to switch the helmets uh, for now. And one of the first things we need to do is we need to make some more glass fiber cables. So uh, we're gonna need glass and that might be, we might have some in here, no. Uh, we might also have some in, there wasn't any in there. Is there any glass in here? We have some sand, I'll take that. Um, yep, no glass, okay. So we're gonna have to cook up some glass. No, no big deal there. We have a smelting factory. Uh, and then, yeah, we need to go make some uh, flux crystals. And I guess we'll just do all of this. And that is a lot of flux crystals, but that's good. Uh, it's almost a stack. Uh, so, yeah, um, this is full of ores, and I haven't processed half of them, or, well, any of them, really. So there, there's a lot of things we can do today. And uh, something to kind of note, we're using the energy acceptor up here, right? Um, I'm going to do a little bit of an experiment, because I actually don't know how it works. Uh, but uh, I don't know if we can bring a channel down here and have it connected to all that stuff. I think we can, but I don't know. I, to be honest, I've only ever really used ME controllers. Um, that being said, we could go ahead and make the ME controller. Uh, it's not that far out of our range. Uh, Skystone blocks are easy enough. Flukes blocks are easy enough. We have the energy, energy acceptor. Flukes pearls are easy enough. Um, it does require two machine cases, though, and a control circuit, which we can make this. It's just going to be a little painful. Uh, so we're going to kind of wait on that for now, I do believe. Um, but we should have some glass. And so then we can make, let's make two sets of this. And that is a little bit of glass fiber cable. And let's see if our little experiment can be done. 
So this is again a temporary setup for now. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, and we can put the crafting terminal there and this. Okay, and we can see everything. Awesome. So um, we just need to hook everything else up upstairs and then we can start working towards automation. Our first little automation. Uh, so yeah, let's dump this stuff in here. Uh, and one of these days we will be lighting up this house uh, and it'll look nice and it'll be great. And I can't wait. Um, something else that I kind of forgot that I could do. Um, the thumbnometer, thumbometer, thumbometer, uh, however you want to say it. Uh, if you right click on chest, it will scan all the items in said chest. Uh, which is really, really, really convenient. Uh, and I kind of forgot that it did it. It's been a while since I played this uh, series, so uh, that is a thing. But uh, what's really cool about that is I've scanned all of our items um, that I can find, that I'm aware of, everything. And cool. So now we need uh, two things. We're going to make another ME interface. Uh, and then we need to make all the processors. That's the next step. Uh, and then we get all the items into our system. And then eventually we get the machine set up and automation to all those and everything is gonna be nice and great. Uh, I'm gonna break this for now and just store that in there. Um, so, oh, I've never scanned a cable. Okay, uh, so we need to make an interface and we need some iron. Let's go ahead and grab, eh, you know what, all of our iron uh, and throw it in here. And then we're going to need a formation core. Let's get like 16 of these crushed up. Uh, so a formation core and annihilation core. So we need two logic processors. And to get those, we're going to need all this stuff. So. Let's kind of teach the system how to make this stuff. Um, first of all, do we have any? Nope. So we're gonna need um, three of these. Can we make that? We can, awesome. So first things first, if we wanna make a processor, let's get that on our thing, I guess. Um, we need to make logic processors. That's gonna be first. So logic processor is silicon, gold, and redstone. So one of each, and then we're also going to need some filters. And filters are actually pretty easy to get, um, I think. Let's see. Yeah, it's paper and a hopper. Uh, the hopper is the expensive part, but um, it's just iron or aluminum plates. We're going to use aluminum. Uh, it would be five. And so let's get these guys laid it up. And then we'll get the hopper to make our... F Actually, we're going to need a lot of filters. Um, so, wrong chest. Uh, we have 23 aluminum in here. I feel like we can get more fairly easily. And I do believe we can enrich it to double it, or we can smelt it um, for single. So enriching is better. So we're gonna let that go. And uh, we should have our first five. And there is a hopper. And then we're gonna need a good amount of paper, which I do have some sugar canes. And it is the normal. Let's get four recipes worth, because I think that's about what we're gonna need. So let's make sure we've scanned those. And the filter. Cool, we've learned something new. Uh, so we have our first filter. And what does that entail for us? Well, what we can do is set up some of this stuff. So uh, each of these guys has something 
different that is going to be locked. Um, and so this specific one will have an insert. Uh, yeah, we're going to do insert uh, filter. So we're going to need five filters, I think. And this is going to be whitelisted on silicon. This one will be, you know, we'll have gold, we'll have all of the components, and then this is going to have a filter for some other stuff. Um, so we'll have that be there as well. Uh, and uh, it will need some interesting things, uh, the last one. Um, so we need more filters, which means we need more aluminum. And we're going to need five filters in total. So we need to get a little bit more sugar cane. Uh, luckily, I did go and grab... Do we have any more sugar cane over here? Uh, no. Okay. But luckily, I grabbed a supremium watering can uh, from our old base. And we're going to just come out here and... Uh, I had some reeds growing over there. We're going to grow some more reeds just right here. And uh, I don't know if this is working or not. But uh, it seems to be. Uh, I have particles way down. Because uh, honestly, my computer has no business running this uh, mod pack. Yeah, so it is working. Uh, let's get those back down. And so we can just harvest more pretty quickly. Um, the Supremium is, uh, watering can is really nice. So, and we have like three of them for some reason. Uh, I know we got them from the like... Uh, loot chests and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, mostly, I think, just the loot chests. I don't think we've got it from, like, quest rewards or anything like that. Uh, but, yeah, it's it's a little overpowered. So, I think just two more. Um, we need four each? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's not too bad. We can put this stuff in here. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go plant the rest of these sugar cane um, so that I can harvest them every once in a while. And uh, at a certain point, we'll have an actual farm for all this stuff. Um, but for now, we'll just kind of put it wherever we can find places for it and all that fun stuff. Uh, okay. So we have uh, 20 that's four more perfect so we'll just plate this all up and then we need chess um, we're gonna need a couple more chess than what we currently have and chess are not easy to make um, we can make them from shulker boxes that sounds awful um, we can get them as like loot drops or we use treated planks oak or wooden tough rods but treated planks, buttons, and logs give us two or many chests, but that doesn't work. Uh, I believe we have two more in there, so we just need to find one more. And then we can get everything we need. And maybe, just maybe... Uh, we'll be able to make all this. So uh, I think what we're going to have to do. I really don't want to make any chests. Um, so let's not make any chests. Let's head over to the uh, the villages. Um, this is going to be horrible. Again, my computer has no business running this mod pack. But um, we do have some chests in there. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit bad, but we should be able to find some chests, hopefully. Are there any more here? No, I don't see any there. 
Um, any chest that we can find we're taking. Uh, I should also probably grab a bed at some point. I think we've cleared out a lot of this place. Um, or not. Let's take all the bees. These are bee houses. I don't really care about bee houses. Uh, I think those are relatively easy to make. I believe they're just, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, honeycombs with the bee, with the, like, blocks, um, slabs and wood, wood stuff. Uh, so, wheat farm, no. Let's keep going up. I think, yeah, there was some more iron tools that are useless. And a double chest where we're going to break hopefully the proper one. Haha, -ha, cool. That looked like it was hiding secrets. Oh, so um, we do need to sleep. But hey, there's three more chests. That will do us uh, fine for now. And I think between episodes I might go exploring. Uh, I'm hesitant to explore, I will be honest. Um, main reason is there is the very real possibility of encountering things like dragons. And I don't want to encounter dragons. Dragons are awful. Um, yes, there are actual dragons in this mod pack. Uh, this has fire and ice, uh, which also includes one of my least favorite enemies ever. Um, and they're typically in this... Uh, savannah desert area and I hate them and I'm gonna go find one to just kill it because I hate them so much uh, so is there one over here no uh, there's also the chance of finding really nasty sea creatures uh, including mermaids don't want to have to deal with mermaids uh, because they can be very dangerous. Uh, mermaids will basically force you to look at them and draw you into them. So um, avoid them if you can. But yeah, we're just going to explore a little bit. Uh, not much. Right there. I hate these things. Cockatrices. Uh, I hate those things so much, but, ugh, let's just stare at the, ow, yeah, um, they're awful, they show up as, um, not hostile, and they're just awful. They're just awful, awful, awful things. Um, so yeah, I did that so I could prove a point. They are the worst creatures in existence. And of course, there's a ton of them um, nearish to our base. Uh, so what we're going to do is head back to said base. And um, forget about that whole ordeal. Um, but yeah, there is some really nasty mobs in Fire and Ice. Uh, God, there's so many butterflies. Uh, I wonder if that's hurting frame rate. Probably is. Uh, they should disappear once I get rid of all the forestry trees, but um, I'll probably need to keep growing those at some point. So, anyways, we have a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's drop... Oh, hey, there is a trap chest. Let's drop some of the stuff off. And put this stuff in here. Keep the paper on us for now. Put the books in there for now. Okay. So. Um, by the way, there's a bunch of Surgis Quartz. I went mining for uh, specifically just Surgis Quartz uh, for a bit. And it paid off. But anyways, there we go. Bunch of stuff we have now. And there is the hoppers and basic item filters. So now we can set up our automation um, 
for all of the circuits for the most part. Uh, we'll kind of set it up as we need to make more. Um, but so we have a filter in there. Uh, we'll put a filter in here that is going to be a whitelist for gold. Uh, and this will also have an insert. These will all have insert out uh, insert outputs. So that made sense. Um, insert extract. There we go. That's the the actual terminology. And then this one, put that there. It's going to get redstone. And then um, this one was getting gold. This one, the engineering, uh, will get diamonds. So we'll go grab a diamond. And then the last one will get uh, the calculation, uh, pure certus. So let's get a pure certus. So we'll just take a single certus crystal and enrich it. Uh, and I might need one more filter. We'll see. Uh, actually, no, we don't need another filter because we can extract it on a different thing. Uh, so we need a diamond. Uh, and we'll go ahead and do this just to get everything um, set up with the filters. So uh, we'll need three redstone and three silicon, uh, which this stuff we'll, we'll get more of later. Um, we can automate it later as well. Uh, our base will be very automated once we get to that point. Uh, but right now we've got to get storage. Uh, so this uh, will be whitelisting diamonds. This will be whitelisting pure certus. And this one for now is just gonna be uh, that. And then extract, it'll be on red, always active. And these will always be active, do not self feed. So basically, um, if I put three, three, one, one, and one, we should see silicon in there, the gold's in there, the diamond's in there, there's the printed engineering, uh, printed calculation, and I forgot to do the thing, uh, and then we have redstone in there. So we're gonna take printed silicon, and that is one thing that can go in there, and we should see the other one go in there. Perfect. And then we need all of these. Uh, the different printed circuit parts. And if we just put them up here, they will go in there. Uh, and they'll craft the circuits. Um, so that's what we want to see. Uh, now I need to grab another diamond and... Uh, Pure Sturgis Quartz, just so that we can have the uh, different things, I guess. Um, but that's all we need to do. And uh, we can set up automation. Uh, so once we're done with the automation part, we're going to work on Thomcraft today, I think. That is the plan, anyways. Uh, so a redstone, a silicon, and then one of three ingredients will give us what we want. So... Um, Gold, diamond. Do I have any more pure surges quartz? No, of course not. Unless they're in here. No, of course not. Uh, luckily, it's not that bad. It's just a little bit of power. So we'll put in here gold. Remember that recipe. Uh, diamond. Remember that recipe. And then the surges. Remember that recipe. So very easy automation, um, but super duper useful. So all we have to do now is get one of these ME interfaces. So um, first thing we need to do is get a formation core, which uh, let's get three more blank patterns because uh, we can teach 
these crafting recipes. Uh, so prevent or substitution on this. And then if we switch that out with nether quartz, which we should have a good bit of now. Um, that'll make the other core. And those are things we can put upstairs uh, in the other crafting thing. Uh, so we'll need one gold, one silicon, and one redstone. Uh, we'll put these guys up here. And in a moment, we'll see right in here are, uh, yeah, there, there it goes, the logic processor. Uh, so obviously we could, uh, if we wanted to, um, stockpile this with redstone and silicon, um, just to kind of have that already in the system. Uh, it would make it go a little bit faster, but at the same time, it's not really needed. So we're going to make both of these. And I have no idea what we just used. I think we used the pure, which is not good, but whatever. Uh, and then we can teach the system how to make interfaces, and we can make one. So cool. Uh, now we can make as many interfaces as we ever want. Uh, and that is a good thing. So all we have to do is put this here. We're going to put these three patterns in there. And this is going to be... Uh, huh. Insert on red. So this is an extract always active on green, insert on red. This will extract on red and insert into here and that will be everything we need. So we can also go ahead and put those in there. And now if we want some circuits, um, one, we need to get materials into the system, but uh, we can craft another logic processor. And in just a moment, we'll see it. So that's kind of awesome. Um, and what we need to do next is we need to automate the 4K cells. Now that's a little bit more complicated because the 1Ks uh, are not bad, but uh, we'll make the logic processor and it, it says it's done and there it is. Uh, so yeah, this isn't too bad other than the fact that it needs an iron chest, um, which is a pain right now. Uh, later on, it might not be as much of one. We'll see. Uh, the problem is, of course, making chests. Chests kind of are awful to make. So, yeah, treat, treated wood. Uh, we're going to probably have a fluid infuser always with creosote oil. Uh, I think that might be the best option, which means we're going to have Coke ovens going all the time and... Yeah, it's going to be fun, but we could actually teach the system how to make this. It would not be a problem. Uh, it's not going to have most of the resources that it needs, but uh, we could. Um, so for now, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to start putting items in the system. Uh, and we're going to keep a probably a crate or two out uh, for various things. Um, but for the remainder of the episode, what I want to do is work on a little bit of um, Thumbcraft. Uh, so I, what I'm going to do is between episodes, I'm going to get more stuff in here. Uh, obviously, it can't make a lot of the stuff, um, glass or anything that needs processing, uh, just because it's not hooked up to anything yet. Uh, eventually, we'll get there. We'll get there. But uh, for now... Uh, I'll probably feed it with a bunch of stuff and then set up some more recipes or at least get ready to. Um, wouldn't be bad to have molecular assemblers, but that requires a lot of things that are kind of annoying. A lot of crafting things, so we'll see. Anyways, we need to do some craft stuff. And I don't remember how to do this uh, exactly. So um, let's take a look at the quest book. So what we need to do is we need to get goggles are revealing um, alchemical brass. We can get quartz slivers. Uh, that's really easy. Uh, we can just do something like this. And there's some quartz slivers, not silver, uh, sliver. 
We'll get a reward bag for that. V crystals, we need an arrow. Uh, which I thought we had. Let's make sure that it's not sitting somewhere else. Um, I thought we had arrow ones. Uh, okay, that's fine. Let's head over. There is a cave. There's a lot of caves around, to be honest. Um, but we can go back to our old cave, uh, and maybe there's an arrow. Uh, not arrow, error. Uh, crystal there. I don't know why I was calling it arrow. Uh, there is no O on it. It used to be called arrow, but now it's just air. At least I think it used to be called arrow. I might be wrong on that. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've looked at a lot of Thawncraft stuff. Um, not for any reason. Thawncraft is a really good mod. And uh, I'm not going to get into too much detail. But I, I do have a video planned that's going to talk about like getting into modded Minecraft. Because I think that's kind of an important thing to to understand to, a cent, to an extent. Um, but... Thumbcraft is probably, like, depending on, one, the version, uh, and two, what you're after, uh, Thumbcraft is one of the better magic mods. Uh, Astral Sorcery is really cool, and it's really complicated um, without being too hard to understand, um, but does have the advantage of it's really pretty, um, which is always nice. But uh, it's relatively new. Thumbcraft has been out for, or been around rather, for so very long. All right, and there's some iron behind there. There's a lot of things down here. Um, I probably should grab a lot of this stuff, but hmm. Uh, we'll take a look at the. Let's take a look at the Thumbnomicon if we want crystals. We can put different things in there and get a crystal. Ah. Okay. So if we throw something in with that has like an air um, essence, I guess, V. I don't, I don't know what the proper term is. Um, we could get more stuff uh, without having to find it in the world. But I'm sure... Because my, my paths are very complicated because it's mostly me searching around uh, and mining. And then whatever I mine unlocks another path type of thing. The caves are very complex down here. Uh, just because of that. Just because, you know, one ore leads to another, which leads to a small cave, which leads to more ore and all that fun stuff. So, um... Yeah, let's head back up. Because I don't know that we're going to find any air crystals. Just by searching around. Maybe there is a creeper. Alright. Uh, I love this sword, by the way. Bunch of redstone over there. So I think you can find, uh, I don't remember how it, how uh, Thawncraft does it anymore, um, but I think what it is, is you find, that is darkness above there, um, you find crystals based on like location, uh, so for example under an ocean or in an ocean biome, you'd find a lot of water crystals. Um, okay. How did I come in here? Wasn't through there. Oh, right here? No. Up here. Okay, I found my way. All right, let's get out of here uh, before I get more loss. Um, yeah, like I was saying, uh, the crystals I believe are based on um, primarily biome, um, but I could be completely wrong on that. Nope. Nope, this is the wrong way. Oh man, I get lost down here so easily. It's 
there is I don't typically leave marking but I did hear there's a lot of torches there just to kind of indicate that hey go up this way so let's get out of here there is the mushrooms let's actually look this way real quick because uh, I don't typically pick up the crystals but I'm not seeing any so we're not gonna worry about it uh, we'll do something else with uh, Thumbcraft for now uh, I've got to remember how to use most of Thumbcraft stuff um, we might actually work on more Thumbcraft or uh, kind of like we did with the uh, immersive engineering just kind of work on various different mods uh, in the quest book uh, before really doing what we should and automating everything um so yeah i'm really bad about that i will be honest i sometimes i just don't like automating um sometimes i just want to do it myself and i know that's not the best of ways to do uh the mod packs especially the ones that are expert mode um but sometimes it's it's just more fun uh anyways we do have a loot chest we can open too so the other thing we can do is get some metallurgy and one of the big things with all of this is the crucible, which if we put some niter underneath, won't burn everything up. Um, now the question is, I guess, let's put it in the kitchen for now. No, we, we moved the well over here. Let's put it right over here for now. Uh, and I guess we'll pick that up. So put niter and we can put the crucible. And then we can fill the crucible with water. Um, let's dump that in there. And we need to learn how to do some stuff. So the first thing, uh, let's get our chemical brass. Uh, so current stage one out of three. Now don't I have to do something with this? I don't remember how the research stuff works. Uh, let's look it up. First steps. Uh, so, studying types of knowledge, theory crafting. Uh, some normally I can. Okay, so there's research aids. Okay. Right, that's right. Okay, now I remember how to do this. So we discovered Arcane Infusion, which we can't really get into yet. Um, but for the brass, what we need to do is make some alchemical brass, which is instrumentum with iron. So if we take a look at... Um, let's see if we can actually see the brass now. Uh, so alchemical brass uh, does not have a recipe. Yes, it does. There it is. So instrumentum... What has instrumentum? Uh, obviously tools would. That, that's what uh, would have that kind of stuff. Um, we want something that has like one. Obviously crystals would. Arrows. Arrows have instrumentum. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep real quick. Uh, so yeah, instrumentum is what we need to figure out. And let's see if there's anything else that's going to be nice and easy that's also not. So wooden tools have four, um, as do stone. Um, plastic has five, and also not much else. And it'd be nice if I could see it, what things just have instrumentum because, uh, for example, like... Um, arrows have other things that I don't necessarily want. Uh, rubber has five. Rubber is the same as plastic, basically. Bronze has a lot of metal. Okay, so we could go with just... Honestly, a single piece of rubber or plastic is probably going to be the best way. Uh, flint also is good, so 
um, a single piece of flint. Uh, and flint's a lot easier to get. So, what we do, grab a bucket of water and start boiling the water. And then we throw in uh, a piece of iron with the instrumentum. Uh, instrumentum goes first and then the iron uh, once it's boiling. So instrumentum and then the iron and we get brass. Now um, if we look at this I just did a dumb uh, I'm gonna have to make another th uh, thermometer. Oh man, I accidentally fed it to the thing. Oh right, I forgot the crystals get stored in here. So yeah, we have a bunch of air crystals. Uh, so we should be able to get two quests done. Uh, one, the Thaumonomicon, we can complete this, and it'll tell us about the the metal and kind of what we can do with it. Uh, and where it goes from there uh, so we need to make we have to have a theory in alchemy and then we need to make thaumium um, but we'll save that for another time I need to remake a uh, pretty important item and so yeah it wants us to make thaumium next and um, before we can do that we have to get the research for it and so I'm going to do a little bit of work I'm trying to remember how to actually do all this stuff um, and then we'll come back next time. Uh, and you know what? I think we're going to do more uh, Thumbcraft. So I'm going to make another thermometer. And we're going to mess around with Thumbcraft a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, automation for a little bit of stuff. And Thumbcraft. Not too bad. Uh, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.